Hi friends, I have a huge tub of things that I have been trying out that I hauled a bit ago and I'm going to break this up into two videos because I feel like I've got too many products to talk about here, but I wanted to make sure that I started to talk about them because some of them are so good, some of them are definitely for summer. And I did a haul at TJ Maxx and at my local Costco, which was really surprising to me. So I want to make sure that I talk to you about those before those things are gone from those places. So I hope that you do enjoy this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you do. And if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. I'd love to hear, have you here as a part of our family. Let's get right into this good old fashioned haul, but I always give you reviews video. All right, let's talk about some stuff I got at TJ Maxx. First of all, this is from Super Goop, and this is a setting mist, and it is uh, an actual SPF setting mist, which I thought was fantastic. Milani does have one of these that they just brought out. I don't think it's this big, though. I'm going to have to grab my glasses because I can't see how big that is. This is 3.4 ounces, and it has an SPF of 50, and it's supposed to, after 40 minutes, keep you matte, and it is sweat proof. And I loved the, the mist on this. I don't know if you'll be able to see. It's super fine, which means that you can reapply this anytime during the day. It has a really cooling minty scent to it. So if you're kind of a little bit shying away from scents, this might not be for you. Um, I believe that I got this for $12.99 and I know that these are pretty expensive on um, Sephora's website. So I really am glad that I got that one. Another thing that I got was from Living Proof. This is the Plumping Mousse. And I love Living Proof, but I kind of don't get it because it's really expensive. I did get this one at TJ Maxx as well. I've used this a couple times. I do like it. It feel like it really doesn't give a lot of volume, but it makes my hair feel thick. Does that make sense? So the volume I get from my hairspray, but this one just makes it feel like I've got a lot of hair. This one was $12.99, and um, I can't read what it says about the regular price, but these are usually around $30, somewhere $20. Five to thirty dollars so i was really glad i got that one as well and then i also got another thing that i'm wearing today this is from steel i got this at um, tj maxx as well this one was ten dollars this is one of those heavenly i think it's heavenly hue highlighters or something like that um, heaven's hue highlighter and this one is in in incandescent and i'm wearing this one as a blush topper today and hopefully you're going to be able to see that. I will swatch it for you. When you put your finger in here, this feels just like what I get from the Super Shock highlighters from um, ColourPop. And I just think it's so pretty. It's a very softer highlight than what this looks like in the pan. So you're not going to like get a... You're not going to get a look that looks like it's a highlight. You're going to get more of just a really soft glow to it. So I really do like that. I love the consistency of that. I think it's so pretty. I also got what I'm wearing on my eyes today is my liner. This is from Stila. This one I think was $8, something like that. Maybe it was $6, but this is one of their micro fine pens that is waterproof. And this one is an amethyst. And man, you guys, these are so waterproof and so good. And I did talk about the e.l.f. being a dupe for the black one, but they do have other colors. And this one, again, was at TJ Maxx, and I think it was $6 or so. So definitely check out your TJ Maxx if you guys have one around you. And then another one from Stila I got is Kitten, and this is one of their liquid eyeshadows, which I hadn't tried these before, but man, you guys, these are super duper waterproof once you get them on your eye it dries down and it does such a good job i will say that since it's really humid right now um you have to kind of you know work with it so it doesn't transfer and you know let it dry down and so it might be better to do it in two coats i'm thinking that that's what's going to be better for me but really have been enjoying that all of those i got from tj maxx so i'm really excited about that now at costco i got these three things right here they're all from laura mercier and I'm so excited that I got them, you guys, because they were a fraction of what you get them for when you do buy them online, like at Sephora. It's just crazy how much I got these for. This is a crayon eyeshadow. It's right there. And once this dries down again, it is there for a long time. And I love the color of it. It's a beautiful light, light gold. I don't like deeper golds because they don't look that great on me, but I do like that one. And then this one right here is the face illuminator. And this is in the color inspiration. I've been wanting one of these for such a long time, you guys, to see if they lived up to the hype or not. Beautiful presentation on that. Oh my goodness. Beautiful presentation. And there it 
is right there and I'll swatch it for you. I will say that this one, um, you're not gonna be able to see on me because I put this one on before I put my blush on. So that one is giving an underneath glow to my skin. And I really do love that, but that presentation is so pretty. I think this is 20 and I'm not 100% sure, but I think it's more than, it's about 40 when you get it from Sephora. So I was really excited about that one. And then this one is the Matte Radiance Baked Powder, and this is in Highlight 01. This one I just dusted across my face all over today. It reminds me so much of the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powders. That new one that I just got, only this one's $20 and that one was 50. And this is just gorgeous you guys it's so pretty look at the little bit of light that's giving to my arm right there so very very pretty very beautiful color for my light skin they did have a few different colors but really am excited that i got all of those at such an inexpensive price and then if you guys didn't know juvia's place has a brand new line of lip products out and they're really good you guys i hope that they come out with a lot more colors because this color I thought would be really good for me. I think it's the rose color. Um, it's a pretty color and I will wear it, but I wish that it was just a little bit more subdued. It's a little bright. The lipstick is a really good formula too. However, the lipstick was way too dark, too bright for me, so I don't have that one. And then this is the gloss, and the gloss is a nice juicy formula of gloss, but it has this beautiful iridescence to it. Look at it. Oh, it's so pretty, you guys. Just beautiful. I'll go ahead and kind of dab that across my lips so you can see beautiful iridescence i'm really in love with that so pretty very juicy um it does have a little bit of a fragrance to it so if you don't like fragrance that might be a, a you know something that you want to think about with that but i really do like how long it lasts it seems like it's um really long lasting without being terribly sticky which i love about it so i'm excited about both of those and i'm excited to, so to try other colors that are in the liner and the lipstick as well the lipstick already gave it to somebody that would love it but it was a good formula so you guys know and um, if you've been wondering about it all right this is from kiko milano and this is one of their new little concealers and I'm really enjoying this. This is what I have on today. It's the full coverage concealer and this is in 01 So this is probably the lightest color they have. It's very emollient you guys um, It's really one that is very very full coverage very thick It reminds me of that one that I love from um, makeup revolution or revolution pro. I really do like that this one has a little bit more of a peach tone to it and it like i said it is the light one so you're probably not going to be able to see it too much on my skin great coverage however this if you go too thick with it you're going to get creasing because it really does need set down it's very very emollient just so you know on that but i really like it i love how much it covers i love how little i have to use on my eyes in order to get my eyes brightened up and all of the darkness covered as well so i do like it i just think that if you have oily skin you're not going to like it at all or if you have a really big problem with creasing you might not like it either just so you guys know that then i also picked up from revlon their skin lights this is the bronzer i was expecting this to be really glowy it's not really glowy you guys but it is a bit too orange for me i like the form I like how um, pretty the presentation is on it. I like how long it stayed on my skin, but look, it's really orangey. So for me, I need to find maybe a lighter one or maybe they'll come up with more colors in their line later on, but it's not a great color for me. And I wanted to make sure I told you about that. This is number 115. Let me see what that one is. Sun Kissed Beam. So if you've been wondering about it, they don't have any sort of shimmer or any sort of glow in them. They're just a really nice bronzer, but like I said, it's really, really, really orange on me. I got two blushes, one from CoverGirl and one from Revlon, and it's so funny because they're almost the same color, you guys. Picked them up on different days, but same color pretty much. The CoverGirl one, I will say, this is the True Blend So Flushed High Pigment Blush. The CoverGirl one to me feels like it just has this satin color to it. It really pretty much is a matte, you guys but it just really has a satiny feel to it. It's really, really soft and really beautiful, really buildable, but I really liked it a lot. And it, the color is 320 Love Me, and I think it's a beautiful pink color for myself. And then the Revlon one that I got is Marvelous 003. 
I really just kind of honed in on both of them because I loved the pink hue on them. Um, this one is probably just a little bit more along the lines of a brighter pink or a more rosy pink, I guess is what I want to say. Um, so they do have a different color about them. And this one from Revlon is a little bit more pigmented, but um, almost pretty much the same color when you got them on your cheeks. But love the formula on both of them. I thought they were both really good. And I did like how they both clung to my cheeks and they were there at the end of the day. So can give you a thumbs up on those. And then I want to just tell you guys, I am going to be doing a video with the pretty fresh um, hyaluronic foundation from, cover, from ColourPop. I do have it on my skin today on this side. On this side, I'm trying the Pure Cosmetics um, four in one foundation. I like them both. They were really close to the same color once I put a little bit of my blue mix in medium with them. They're both really kind of along the orangey side. I will say that I feel like the pure one blended just a little bit better than this one from the ColourPop. And the ColourPop one did oxidize on my skin just a little bit. So this is, I was going for a lot lighter than this. So it's kind of gotten a little bit more orangey as I've gone on. Not terrible, but enough to where I did notice it. Um, so you guys know that on it. I like the formula on it. I like that it is a medium with buildable coverage. I didn't really feel like I had to work at getting the coverage that I like. I like to have my skin still show through, but I like to have, you know, pretty good coverage because I do have a lot of dark spots and a lot of imperfections. But um, I felt really good about the pure one as well. I'm going to do a video on these, but this was my first test on it. Just so you guys know, I just want to throw it out there. Everybody's been asking me about the ColourPop one. I do like it. First impression is it covered really well, but it did oxidize just a little bit. So you might think about getting a shade lighter. And remember that when you do get your shades, if you're very cool toned like cool toned like I am, then you're gonna wanna think about that when you're trying it out as well. So I wanted to make sure I talked to you guys about that. And that is all I'm gonna go through today. I've got a huge basket here and there's more in here for sure, but I wanna make sure that I save that for another day. So Hopefully you did enjoy the video and please give it a thumbs up if you did. Have you guys been picking up anything during quarantine? I seem to be shopping a ton online and just loving what I'm getting. Um, there are a few misses in there, but lots of hits in there too so hopefully you guys got some good ideas out of this please do give it a thumbs up if you wouldn't mind doing that thanks so much for being a part of my day today hope everybody is doing really well staying safe stay sanitized stay well i love you and i will see you guys all very soon in my next video bye you guys